Good evening and welcome to the Hereford Times Food and Farming Awards. These awards are designed to be a celebration of Herefordshire's proud agricultural heritage. They recognise all the hard work carried out day in and day out across the county to feed local people, those throughout the UK and beyond. We want this evening to be as interactive as possible. And although we're not able to be in the same room, please add your messages of good luck, celebration and support in the comments below this video post. I know our finalists would love to see them. You can like and share this post too, so that your Facebook friends can see what you're watching and watch along with you too. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the judges for the time and expertise they brought to the process. Assessing all the entries is a time-consuming job, though for many of them it was a heartwarming and inspiring experience too. I'm told tasting all the delicious samples provided by food and drink producers was an especially onerous task. These awards would not have been possible without the support of our sponsors. They continue to champion our awards during these challenging times and have helped ensure they can go ahead online tonight. So I'd like to thank our sponsors, Adding Fund, who are also our chosen charity for the awards tonight, but more on that later. Also, AJ Snell, Avara Foods, Belmont Vets, Chase Distillery, Country Store, Countryside Restoration Trust, Cupid Events, Duchy of Cornwall, Largan Homes, McCartney's LLP, MFG Solicitors, Nuffield Hospital, and Western Power Distribution. Be sure to pick up a copy of the winner supplement, which will be in the Hereford Times on July the 1st. In it, you'll be able to find out lots more about tonight's winners. Our awards host this evening is Kate Bliss. Born and bred in Herefordshire, Kate was a pupil at Hereford Cathedral School and read English literature at Brasenose College, Oxford. After studying fine art to become a member of the Royal Institution of Chartered Surveyors, she spent several years as auctioneer and valuer in Herefordshire before starting her own valuation business. As a regular antiques expert on BBC's Bargain Hunt and Flog It for over 20 years, Kate has also appeared as presenter on both BBC's Put Your Money Where Your Mouth Is and The Antiques Road Trip, as well as ITV's Secret Dealers. Welcome to our host, Kate Bliss. Good evening. It's an absolute pleasure to be here tonight for the Hereford Times Food and Farming Awards, which I'm absolutely thrilled to be hosting, albeit remotely through the medium of the small screen. My roots are very much in Herefordshire. I was born and bred here. Although not from farming stock, I remember visiting many Herefordshire farms as a kid to pick or buy produce. Cherry season was probably my favourite, where climbing ladders and sitting amongst the branches of the cherry trees was as fun as eating the fruit. As a student, I spent many summer holidays in fields picking and weighing strawberries. So growing up here, farming was never far away. The world of television and antiques has taken me much further afield, from New York and Times Square to navigating the remote highlands of Scotland in a classic car. I've ridden the Queen's horse, driven a 1960s racing car and travelled in a Challenger 2 tank. But I'm happiest filming close to home in beautiful Herefordshire in my Series 1 Land Rover. I always say antiques are in my blood. My dad was an auctioneer. But Herefordshire and its rural charm also runs deep. I have grown up to discover a county many knew for its cider, potatoes, beef or hops, now encompassing not just a fantastically diverse array of produce that is nationally and internationally recognised, but an approach to farming and food that has faced up to modern political, financial and ecological challenges, to say nothing of the weather, and met them with innovation, enterprise and diversification. Here in Herefordshire, 
are industry leaders, artisan producers, top quality eating establishments, and good, honest, homemade, homegrown. Now, as a mother feeding my own family, with an awareness of carbon footprints, food miles, and sustainability more than ever, I'm privileged to have these excellent suppliers and producers on the doorstep and to share a meal with family and friends in one of our wonderful local eateries. Farming is part of our heritage, and much of the county's beauty, wealth, and well being has come from the soil. These awards showcase the talent, enterprise and tenacity of our farming and food serving community in what has been an extraordinary year for us all. And I'm extremely proud to present the top nominees and winners to you tonight. As John said, the Hereford Times Food and Farming Awards 2021 are supporting a farming charity, the Addington Fund, as their chosen charity of the year. And any donations you make throughout the evening will go directly to them to help the farming community. For those of you who don't know, the Addington Fund is a truly unique agricultural charity that has five areas of help in which they support the farming community when times hit hard. Brilliant charity there with excellent ways to help the farming community. Let's try and raise as much as we can for this unique charity this evening and please give what you can. To celebrate being chosen charity of the year, the Addington Fund is hosting a competition. So those who kindly pledge to this fantastic charity also have a chance of winning a scrumptious Taste Herefordshire hamper full of locally produced goodies and a family photo shoot by professional photographer Abby Cohen, together worth £450. Make sure you enter, you could be the lucky winner. When you donate to the Addington Fund tonight, and up until the 25th of June, you can enter the competition to win this fabulous prize worth £450. When you donate via the Addington Fund website, you'll be presented with three questions about the Addington Fund. If you answer these questions correctly, you'll be entered into the prize competition draw. It's as easy as that. As always with any competition, terms and conditions apply and you can view in full on the Addington Fund website. The other ways to donate to the Addington Fund are via text or send a cheque in the post but be sure to head over to their website and donate online if you want to take part in the competition to win those fantastic prizes. A taste Herefordshire hamper and photo shoot with the talented Abby Cohen. 
The money you donate to the Addington Fund will help the charity continue to support the farming community in times of need. So please give what you can to support this unique farming charity. So, without further ado, on to the awards. The Hereford Times has been sent some messages of good luck and appreciation for the finalists tonight. Here is the first message from Rosemary Schrager. Hello everyone, it's me, I'm here, it's Rosemary. Listen, I'm here to wish the finalists congratulations and the best of luck in the Hereford Times Food and Farming Awards, which is all taking place online. Now, this is so easy for me because I'm so passionate about sustainability, having fresh things in season, buying local, getting everything, the best produce ever. What could be better? So I really am passionate. So good luck. I'm going to be tuning in and seeing who is going to be win. So fingers crossed you all. And I hope you make it, whoever you are. Thanks, Rosemary. Our first category this evening is the Farm Conservation and Diversification Award, sponsored by Western Power Distribution. This category was open to those who are making positive steps in the field of green energy and environmental farming. This award also recognises organic farmers who practise outstanding land stewardship, innovation and outreach. The finalists are Oxton Organics. From their one acre no dig market garden, Oxton Organics supply an abundance of healthy fruit and vegetables to around 80 households every week through their box scheme. Their other 11 acres are committed to habitat creation and biodiversity. Next, Richard Thomas, Risbury Court Farm. In 2018, Richard decided to take the route of regenerative agriculture. Farming and grazing practices that contribute to reversing climate change and restoring biodiversity. In the past decade, he has planted over 400 apple trees, laid over a kilometre of hedgerows and has wild, ungrazed areas for wildlife. And lastly, Katie Whitehouse, Bradley Farm. Sustainability is key at Bradley Farm, where the milk travels just metres from goat to ice cream kitchen and containers are compostable. The White House family is equally committed to education. I am passionate about educating children where their food comes from, says Katie. To announce the name of the winner from Western Power Distribution Manager Mark Sargent. The winner of the Farm Conservation and Diversification Award is Richard Thomas, Risbury Court Farm. Good luck to the finalists on the Hereford Times Food and Farming Awards. That is fantastic. Food is very close to my heart. Uh, cafes and tea rooms especially um favorite thing in the world is a cup of tea in a piece of old china and a gorgeous homemade cake preferably carrot with a really nice icing on the top good luck thanks tracy ann our second award this evening is the best cafe or tea room award sponsored by Largan homes we were looking for a cafe or tea room that stands apart from others with particular emphasis on locally sourced ingredients. The finalists are The Daily Grind. A new addition to Hereford's food landscape, The Daily Grind offers a simple and classic menu of takeaway coffee and cakes from their new premises in Hereford's iconic butter market. Next, number 10, The Tea Room. A small tea shop with a big commitment to customer service and community support. 
Number 10, the tea shop runs a suspended coffee scheme, enabling a customer to pay for a drink and cake for someone who could do with a support. And lastly, Nutter's Cafe. Hidden away in a courtyard off Hereford's historic Church Street, Nutter's Cafe has been hitting the spot for the county's vegetarians for more than 35 years. Working, they say, really hard to cook lovely food in our very small kitchen. To announce the name of the winner, representing Largan Holmes, editor of the Hereford Times, John Wilson. The winner of the Best Café or Tea Room Award is The Daily Grind. <laughs> Hello, it's singer and actress Suzanne Shaw here. I just want to wish the finalists of the Hereford Times Food and Farming Awards a huge congratulations and best of luck for the award ceremony that is taking place online. I also want to say a huge thank you to all the farmers who have worked so hard and so tirelessly during this pandemic. Sending you all loads of love and really enjoy yourselves. Take care. Thanks, Suzanne. Our next award is the Poultry Farmer Award, sponsored by Avara Foods. This award was open to all egg, turkey, goose, duck or chicken meat producers, demonstrating excellence in production, marketing and welfare. In an ever-challenging environment, the judges were looking for those who can demonstrate a clear business plan that focuses on quality and profitability. The finalists are Lee Baxter, Penrose Poultry Limited. As manager of Penrose Poultry Limited, Lee excels at paying close attention to what is happening on the farm at all stages, an approach that has brought him considerable recognition from the industry in his five years managing the Red Hill site at Penrose. Next, Giles McQuiston. Giles has been nominated by his son, who would like to see his father recognised for his determination to keeping the supermarkets full of chickens during unpredictable and unprecedented times, all the while helping homeschool his three teenage children. And lastly, Chris White, Ledbury Poultry. Chris's Ledbury Poultry has grown over the past two decades as his interest in rescue chickens developed into an expert knowledge of rare breeds of poultry, including geese, ducks, turkeys, emus and rears. He's recognised as an exceptionally hard worker with high standards. To announce the name of the winner from Avara Foods, Agricultural Director David Nielsen. Avara Foods is proud to be a member of the community in Herefordshire and we're also very, very passionate about giving farmers recognition for producing food for our UK consumers. And I'm delighted to announce that the winner of the Poultry Farmer Award is Chris White of Ledbury Poultry. <laughs> Hello, Hal Cruttenden here. Not Mr Tumble from CBeebies or Martin Roberts from Homes Under the Hammer. Stop it. Anyway, Hal Cruttenden here and I'm just here to wish everybody who's competing in the Hereford Times Food and Farming Awards the very, very best of luck. Um, I'm a huge, to tell you, I'm a huge fan of farming and farm shops. I really am because I live in Enfield uh, on the outskirts of North London. And just the very fact that we can go shopping in a, we've got a couple of farm shops near to us. The very fact we can go there makes us feel like we live in the country. We live a healthy, outdoor, happy lifestyle rather than, rather than actually the fact that we're stuck in London in an area with quite high crime and, and constant fumes from traffic choking us every single day. What I love about actually going to a farm shop is that you're getting the fresh produce from that farm. And that is so fantastic. And that's a place I always go to when I want to feel good and feel healthy about myself. Obviously, when I feel sad, I go to KFC. That's why I have some problems with weight. Talking about weight, do you know what my wife said to me the other day? We're watching a film about Laurel and Hardy touring the UK. 
okay, in the 50s. And I said, that's what I should be doing. I'm a comedian. I'm like Laurel and Hardy rolled into one. My wife said, you should call yourself Lardy. Isn't that horrible? Anyway, just please share. Look, may the best contestant win. Have a great competition. Love to everybody there. And, and, and thank you. Thank you for all that you do. Thanks, Hal. Our fourth category this evening is the Best Farm Shop Award, sponsored by the Hereford Times. The key to a good farm shop is not only the range of produce and the layout, but also the principles that it supports. We were looking for produce sold to be fresh and grown, picked or reared on the farm itself, or from specialist producers in the local area. The finalists are Oak Church Farm Shop. Known as the Harrods of Herefordshire, the Oak Church Food Hall specialises in local food, a culinary showcase for more than 90 local food and drink producers, and for the ready-made meals, sausage rolls, cakes and much more that's made on site. Next, Pengethley Farm Shop. Michael Patterson at Pengethley Farm Shop has gone the extra mile throughout the pandemic to ensure that customers continued to enjoy locally sourced meat, being there for them day in, day out, six days a week. And lastly, Tilly's Farm Shop. Tilly Morgan's pop-up farm shop was created to provide the village shop experience to communities which didn't have their own. Popping up in village halls or in her converted trailer, Tilly's is a platform for artisanal producers throughout Herefordshire. To announce the name of the winner from the Hereford Times, editor John Wilson. The winner of the Best Farm Shop Award is Oak Church Farm Shop. <laughs> Our next category this evening is the Cattle Farmer Award, sponsored by Belmont Farm and Equine Vets. This award recognises the skills of a cattle farmer who has a clear and progressive business plan and has in place programmes and policies for the management of healthy livestock for breeding and rearing, coupled with a strong grassland and forage management strategy. The finalists are... Andrew Easterbrook, farm manager at Hartbury University and Hartbury College. Dairy farmer Andrew is no stranger to awards, having won a Young Stock Health and Welfare Award in 2021 and the title of ProMar International Milkminder Manager of the Year Award in 2019. David Powell. David, a former chairman of the Hereford Traditional Breed Society, has been producing high quality beef from his prize winning traditional pedigree Hereford herd at Arnold's farm all his life and at 88 years old has no plan to retire. To announce the name of the winner from Belmont Farm and Equine Vets, director Andrew Cook. It's a real privilege to be able to work with some of these outstanding farmers. Their dedication to their animals is truly inspiring. And the winner of the Cattle Farmer Award is David Powell. Hello everybody. Leslie Joseph here. Well, you will know me better as Dorian Green, the Queen of Chigwell. <laughs> but I'm here tonight to offer those finalists congratulations and the best of luck for the online Hereford Times Food and Farming Awards. I am keeping my fingers crossed for every single one of you because all you independent food retailers like the delicatessens, the, the wine shop, the cheesemongers, the butchers, you have been at the heart of community 
And these have been unprecedented times. And community spirit is what has got us all through. You know, a little walk down to the high street to go into a butcher's. My goodness, the first time I did that, it felt like magic. I felt like I'd achieved something so huge. It was so important just to talk to people and take advice over which cheese to choose, you know? So you have been there for everybody. So tonight, this is a little something to give back to you, to say thank you. Listen, all you finalists are stars. Congratulations to you all. And my fingers crossed that you have a fantastic evening. Much love to you all. Thanks, Leslie. Our sixth award is the Best Local Food Retailer, sponsored by AJ and CI Snell. It could be a wholesaler, website or independent retailer that's transforming your access to great local produce with an original idea. The finalists are Hopes of Longtown, Staffed by a passionate team of people, Hopes of Longtown is more than just a village shop. Not only do they stock a range of high quality local produce, but they also provide support to local people, especially over the past year, creating a vibrant, award-winning village service. Next, Local eSource Limited. Local eSourced is the realisation of Hamish Light's dream to create a digital marketplace that enables local independent suppliers to come together to offer a unique shopping experience. But he never imagined he'd be launching the business as a global pandemic broke out. And finally, Tilly's Farm Shop. A godsend, a lifesaver, innovative and creative were just some of the accolades heaped on Tilly's mobile farm shop. A lockdown launch that took a great range of local produce to communities with no village shop. To announce the name of the winner from AJ and CI Snell, business partner, Christine Snell. We're very excited to be part of the Hereford Times Food and Farming Awards and the winner of the best local food retailer is Hopes of Longtown. We have now reached the halfway point in our evening. A reminder that tonight, as well as celebrating the best of food and farming in Herefordshire, we are raising support for the Addington Fund as our chosen charity of the year, a small organisation in the farming sector that makes a huge difference to farmers in times of need. The charity's roots go back 20 years, when classical swine flu hit hard in parts of East Anglia, and it became well established in 2001 when they distributed over £10 million to farmers who were facing disaster when foot and mouth disease struck the country. Our farmers, with the help of people like you who support them, bounced back from such tragic circumstances. But still today, some farmers need your support from time to time. And the Addington Fund delivers this in a way that no other agricultural charity provides. They provide retirement and affordable homes for farming families. Disaster relief in forms of feed, hay and straw if your farm is severely impacted by bad weather or certain disease outbreaks. They also provide farm worker grants for farm workers on low incomes and they have just started up a new entrance scheme, which is there to encourage the next generation into agriculture. As our chosen charity of the year, all funds raised this evening will be going directly to the Addington Fund. So please give what you can for these important causes. And remember, you can also enter the prize competition to win a taste of Herefordshire hamper filled with delicious goodies and a photo shoot with Abby Cohen, in total worth £450.
Now, a message of good luck and appreciation for the finalists tonight from Henning Vane. Hello, hello, hello. Henning here, German Comedy Ambassador. Well done. Herzlichen Glückwunsch to all the finalists of the uh, Hereford Times Food and Farming Awards. Uh, yeah, uh, it's all about local produce. Uh, it's, uh, especially as we're seeing, it's difficult to import stuff. So if you can grow your fruit and veg locally, even even better. Well, uh, congratulations to everyone. And I've got very fond memories of uh, of Hereford um, uh, playing at the, at the courtyard and before uh, uh, before then, I managed to uh, catch a game just across the road. So, uh, yeah, fond memories. And then hopefully see you again in Hereford uh, or anywhere, really, uh, out in the street again this year. Have a great 2021 and congratulations once again to all the winners and nominees of the Hereford Times Food and Farming Awards. Wunderbar. Tschüss. Alles Gute. See you soon. Bye. Wiedersehen. Thanks, Henning. Our next award is the Arable or Fruit or Hop Farmer of the Year, sponsored by the Duchy of Cornwall. This award is for an arable, hop or fruit farmer who can demonstrate a clear vision for the future with a management strategy for the business which incorporates a detailed understanding of costs and an investment plan. The finalists are Tom Davis at EA Davis Upper Court Farm. A mixed arable and grassland farm on the Welsh borders, EA Davis produces grain from which their own brand of animal feed is manufactured. Tom Davis manages both the arable enterprise and UC feeds, with a commitment to making continual environmental improvements. Next, Lower Hope Fruit Limited. A renowned fruit grower specialising in growing outstanding fresh cherries, Lower Hope Fruit have been pioneers of modern cherry growing methods for the last two decades. In recent years, they have focused too on environmental sustainability and biodiversity through wildflower areas. And lastly, More Court Fruit Limited. Originally a small mixed farm, more Court Fruit, run by Eric and Claire Price, with son Chris and his wife Catherine, has expanded over the last 15 years to grow cider apples and premium soft fruit, much of which goes to leading supermarkets. To announce the name of the winner from the Duchy of Cornwall, Deputy Land Steward Charlotte Ibbs. The Duchy of Cornwall is delighted to support the Food and Farming Awards. And the winner of the Arable, Fruit or Hop Farmer of the Year is E.A. Davis. Hello, it's me, the lovely Debbie McGee. Well, that's debatable. But what isn't debatable is that you got through to the final of the Hereford Times Food and Farming Awards. Congratulations. And I really wish you all the best of luck in the final. Um, for me, of course, I know that you've all had such a tough time and I've really missed going out for all those lovely meals and I'm a real foodie. But it's also all about the ambience of going out to a restaurant or going and buying some lovely stuff. Um, so I just can't wait for it all to open up and you can be back selling us all gorgeous things to eat and drink. So um, I hope that you really do very well in the final, but getting through is good enough, isn't it? Anyway, lots of love from me. Bye. Thanks, Debbie. Our eighth category this evening is the Best Restaurant Award, sponsored by Cupid Events. This category recognises the best restaurant in Herefordshire that draws customers because of the excellence of its food, with particular emphasis on locally sourced seasonal ingredients. We were looking for a restaurant that stands apart from others and that demonstrated an innovative and winning menu. 
The finalists are the Beefy Boys. Running through every Beefy Boys burger is the taste of Herefordshire, with meat, buns, bacon and chicken wings, all sourced from local suppliers. We always try to keep things as local as possible, they say. Next, the Cider Barn. Menus at the Cider Barn in Pembridge are shaped by seasonal, fresh, local produce, attracting a loyal following of regular local diners and not-so-local visitors, and gaining the restaurant a reputation for quality food and exceptional service. And lastly, the Riverside, Amosry. Chef patron Andy Link grew up just down the road from his restaurant and he brings his knowledge and passion for the county to create dishes that reflect the region. The kitchen's favourite dishes, says Andy, are those that showcase local ingredients in a unique way. To announce the name of the winner from Cupid Events, owner Jenny Evans. Good evening. After such a challenge in 2020, it's fantastic to see our restaurants back opening again. I'm delighted to announce that the winner of the Best Restaurant Award is the Riverside Amestry. <laughs> well, hello. Surprise! It's me, Cheryl Baker from The Fizz. You know, used to be in Buck's Fizz sung Making Your Mind up at the Eurovision Song Contest in 1981. Hang on a minute, 1981, that's 40 years ago. Well, that's impossible because I'm only 36 years of age. Ha, 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 ha. Anyway, I've got a message for you. And uh, and this is for all the finalists in the, I have to read this, Hereford Times Food and Farming Awards. Um, massive congratulations to you all for being in the final and uh, and huge luck to you all as well. I hope you will get the recognition you deserve. Can I just say, from me, from a from a resident of the UK, thank you to all the UK farmers because, I mean, throughout this pandemic, you've had to work so hard and it's been so very tough. I know that. We all know that. You have a hard job anyway. All of our farmers have a hard job. I mean, I couldn't do it. I couldn't get up at the crack of dawn and go and milk the cows or whatever you're going to do. I I admire you all. And and as I say, thank you so much. Let me represent the whole of the UK because we really, truly do thank you. But good luck in these awards. And as I said earlier, I hope you get the recognition you deserve. Sending lots of love from me, Cheryl. Uh, maybe see you at a gig sometime. Bye-bye. Thanks, Cheryl. Our next category is the Family Run Farm, or Small Holding of the Year, sponsored by MFG Solicitors. We wanted to recognise the families who are at the heart of Herefordshire farming. The finalists are Churchfields Farm. Churchfields Farm has, over the years, become a big operation but remains a family business that believes in farming sustainably. We want the team and customers to feel part of the Churchfields family too, say Will and Gillian Curtin. Our values run through all aspects of the Churchfields business. Next, Court Farm Partnership. A true family affair, Court Farm is run by Calvin and Raquel Pugh daughter Sarah and son-in-law Richard Carter, with Josh joining them as tractor and stockman. They are driven, they say, by improving the life of their dairy cows and building a farm that will be fit for generations to come. And lastly, H and E Rudge at Ballingham Court. A family partnership, the Rudges, Henry, Esther and son Monty, see themselves as custodians of the countryside, dedicated to growing their business while protecting the environment and looking after their community. To announce the name of the winner from MFG Solicitors, partner Ian Morrison.
Good evening, and on behalf of MFG Solicitors, I would just like to say how pleased we are to be sponsoring these awards again this year. And I'd like to announce the winner of the Family Run Farm or Small Holding of the Year is H&E Rudge. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Lee Mead here. I've had a little request uh, to please wish the finalists congratulations and the best of luck in the online Hereford Times Food and Farming Awards. Uh, that's the first one for me, but um, well done for getting to the final. Uh, enjoy yourselves. Uh, there's no losers. Uh, just have fun on the day. Uh, my favourite meal will probably have to be a good old roast dinner, chicken roast. And my girlfriend Izzy makes a, an amazing roast dinner. Red cabbage, uh, cauliflower cheese, long stem broccoli, honey roast parsnips. Um, Yorkshire pudding, thick gravy, can't beat it. It's the best thing on a Sunday. So uh, that's my favourite meal. But best of luck. Enjoy yourselves for the final, and I'll see you soon. Thanks, Lee. The tenth category is the best dairy producer, sponsored by McCartney's. The entries in this category had to be made in Herefordshire, using predominantly Herefordshire produce. The finalists are Just Rachel Ice Creams Limited. Fenella Kenyan Slaney's Ice Cream continues the local heritage of a local producer with a 35 year history. Fenella continues to use the original and traditional recipes so popular with customers, while gradually expanding to introduce new flavours. Next, Kelsmore Dairy. Brothers Josh and Adam Jones split the responsibilities at Kelsmore Dairy, with Josh taking care of the dairy processing side of the business, while Adam manages the farm's herd of pedigree Guernsey cows. With last year's summer events a write-off, the brothers instead offered doorstep deliveries of their delicious ice cream. And lastly, Oh My Goat! Launching a new business during a pandemic was not in the plan for Katie Whitehouse's goat's milk gelato, but quick thinking and a click and collect and delivery service saw the business get off to a flying start. To announce the name of the winner from McCartney's, auctioneer Bradley Towell. On behalf of McCartney's, I am delighted to announce the winner of the best dairy producer is Just Rachel Ice Cream. Hi, it's Alice here from the Great British Bake Off. And I just wanted to say a huge well done to all the finalists of the Hereford Times Food and Farming Awards. Well done for getting this far and I wish you all the best of luck with the rest of the judging. Thanks, Alice. The next award this evening is the Best Food Producer, supported by the Addington Fund. Entries for this award were food products produced locally in Herefordshire. The finalists are Nizzy Bakery. Quality, community and championing the local area are key elements in the creation of David Nizzy's range of award-winning breads and pastries, all made, baked and sold from the bakery in St Owen Street. Next, Two Farmers Limited. Herefordshire potato farmers and longtime friends Mark Green and Sean Mason launched their sustainable brand of crisps in 2019. Crisps that celebrate the flavours of Herefordshire, packaged in the UK's first plastic-free 100% compostable packet. And lastly, Wild by Nature. The mission of Wild by Nature, says Jake Townley, is to be the standard bearer for farm-to-table hospitality and regenerative farming in the Black Mountains. Farming native breed beef and sheep, they let nature lead the way. To announce the name of the winner from the Addington Fund, Marketing and Events Manager, Annie Wynne. Good evening. It's great to be here and good luck to all of the finalists. The winner of the best food producer is Wild by Nature. Yeah. 
Hello there, uh, it's Matt Dawson here and uh, I just wanted to wish all the finalists congratulations uh, and best of luck in the online Hereford Times Food and Farming Awards. Um, well, I, li I, I like all of that. I like Hereford. Um, uh, I love food. Uh, and uh, I, I like drink. Congratulations to all of those finalists uh, and look forward to finding out who has picked up the awards. Take care. Thanks, Matt. Our penultimate award is the Best Drinks Producer, sponsored by Chase Distillery. Entries for this award must have been produced from things grown in Herefordshire. All entries had to be bottled in Herefordshire or neighbouring counties. The finalists are Black Mountain Botanicals. Since launching in 2018, Lloyd Reed and Glyn Bufton have organically grown their spirits business and now have a full distillery licence, enabling them to lend their support to key workers last year as they switched from gin production to making hand sanitizer. Next, Foxtail Distillery. A small but perfectly formed distillery whose spirits reflect the character of the Wye Valley. Ross and Lee use local in-season botanicals, many from their own cottage garden, with others foraged seasonally. And lastly, Pixley Berries. The small team at Pixley Berries is passionate about producing the best quality British drinks, containing nothing more than juice, sugar and water. Proud of their rural heritage, they're as committed to conserving countryside around them as they are to growing their Pixley Black black currants. To announce the name of the winner from Chase Distillery, Director James Chase. Good evening, everybody. I absolutely adore this county for its fantastic produce and farming. The winner of the best drinks producer is Pixley Berries. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Jason Manford here, just wishing all the finalists a huge congratulations and best of luck in the online Hereford Times Food and Farming Awards. It's been a hell of a 12 months, I can only imagine what you've all been through, but we can't wait to have you all back open, all the restaurants and pubs, we have really blooming missed you, you're an important part of British life. So, best of luck and all the best. Thanks, Jason. Our final award this evening is the Outstanding Achievement Award, sponsored by the Countryside Restoration Trust. The winner of this category is one of the winners we have already heard about this evening. The winner has been chosen for demonstrating an outstanding achievement in the food or agriculture industry. We wanted to recognise individuals who have made a significant contribution and can evidence this with proven success. To announce the name of the winner from the Countryside Restoration Trust, Herefordshire Wildlife Monitoring Officer, Ruth Moss. Good evening. I'm absolutely delighted to announce the winner of the Outstanding Achievement Award is... David Powell. Congratulations, David. And congratulations to all tonight's finalists and winners. You are integral to our county and our communities, and we are very grateful for everything you do. These awards would not have been possible without the support of our sponsors. They continue to champion these awards during these challenging times and have helped ensure they could go ahead online tonight. I'd like to thank our sponsors and supporters. Addington Fund, AJ and CI Snell, Avara Foods, 
Belmont Farm and Equine Vets, Chase Distillery, Country Store, Countryside Restoration Trust, Cupid Events, The Duchy of Cornwall, Largan Homes, McCartney's LLP, MFG Solicitors, Nuffield Hospital and Western Power Distribution. Be sure to pick up a copy of the Winner Supplement, which will be in the Hereford Times on July the 1st. In it, you will be able to find out more about tonight's winners, so don't forget to get a copy. Thank you to everyone who has so generously donated this evening to support our chosen charity of the year, the Addington Fund, and very best of luck to those that have donated via the website and also entered the prize competition that Addington is hosting to win those fabulous prizes. Remember that the competition closes on Friday the 25th of June, so please give what you can and answer the questions to enter the competition before that date to be in with a chance of winning. Thank you for watching the Hereford Times Food and Farming Awards 2021. Stay safe and good night.